Oh, Ymir, Ymir, Ymir. What are we going to do about you, Ymir? You come from such a great family, New Age. You're based off such a wonderful character, Grimlock. But to see you fall so short of greatness, oh man, it hurts me deep, deep, deep within my soul. But you know what? Let's see what everyone else has to say about this. <laughs> Yo, what is up, buddy? Holly and the Crickets, check this out. Look what Shozi has sent me. It is the Dinobot Bomander, Ymir. You guys know what Dinobot Bomander is a reference to? If you don't, that's okay, dude. It's a super duper old reference. But yeah, it's their take on Grimlock and boy... It's a well-manufactured toy, uh, but this one, I don't know, when I look at it, it screams hubris. And what I mean by that is they almost just got lost on being new age, on being these like awesome designers of toys that they felt like they could do no wrong, and they produced this dude. But there's a ton of stuff wrong with him, in my personal opinion, okay? The box is great, so if you're a box collector, it's this kind of like paper, plastic reinforced thing, nice gloss reminiscent of the old school diaclone line and so um i think the box is great and the toy is great in a vacuum so to speak but if we are comparing this like many of us do in the battle of the legends between this and new or excuse me magic square i think magic square has won this one hands down and i'm going to tell you why in just a second david beckham so give me one second to push all the stuff away and clean this up okay here he is mr america no I don't know if they have a Mr. America contest. I know they have a Miss America. But, um, all right. So this is Ymir. This is Grimlock, obviously. But here, let me start pointing out one of the weird things about this. See how he does the tummy ache thing? Oh, I gotta take a dumb move. Dude, he can't... He can only move his arms in and out. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, he's doing a snapping motion. He, he can't move it up and down. Dude, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, oops, the hand popped out. Like, no one played with this during QC and was like, hey, it's a little weird that he can only do the, hey, I love you. And he can't move it, like, up and down, like, kind of like a raptor. And one might argue that, hey, T-Rex's arms never did that. Well, I, I don't know for sure. But it's just oddly bizarre. No, no, nobody thinks that? I think it's just so strange why they would do that. And another part that's really weird for me is how they engineered the arms, dude. When I see this, it's it's not necessarily overly engineered. I think they're just bad engineering choices. And uh, the tail is cool in that it has this little like wiggle waggle similar to the um, sl slag, slug slag getting all messed up. But I wonder if this was the first one. I wonder if this was the first one that came out and... Um, they were just like, hey, we're new age. We're just going to do whatever we want. And then when the Magic Squares came out, they're like, bruh, we need to up our game up. We need to up our game and design these better. Because while a lot of things are cool, like the Dino Mode overall, minus the arms, I think this is phenomenal. It's a really, really nice piece. Um, but in Robot Mode is just really where it suffers. And um, I'm going to take you through all of that. But before we do all of that, oh, blah, 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 blah. all these things fell out. And so he has a sword which is cool, and this acts kind of as a flame blast effect, but he does not come with his standard choppity chop sword. Um, I believe it comes with the toy version of that, and uh, that's too bad they didn't include that. He does come with the son of Vandy Camp Vanity Hands, and he has a standard pair of hands as well, but those are tucked into the dinosaur um, legs currently. And he has a fish. If this is a G1 reference, it's lost on me, because um, I don't really remember G1 now, dude. I'm an ancient fossil, and although I'm a fossil... When I watched this, I was a little tyke as well. And honestly, I was more interested in the robots and the storylines. And we have his uh, traditional blaster. The instructions are very, very nice. They're on that thick, um, plasticky kind of reinforced paper. But I will say the new ones that they have from like Slag, they are an improvement to this. Uh, it wasn't hard to read. Oh, he has the nice sword over here, but I don't have that. Um, this was nice and all, but uh, yeah, they made some improvements with, with the Slag instructions and stuff. And so... I'm, I'm just wondering if this was the first one that came out in sequence and then afterward they realized like, dude, we got to up our game because there's a lot of no bueno things about this. Yeah. And all right, let's just go through the transformation and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. I've done the transformation several times, but um, just to be sure I have a guide over there in the background and it'll help us like walk through all of this. And so, yeah, so we're starting here and um, you know what, before we even go into the transformation, I really, really don't like this. It is such an eyesore, and I know why they did it. It's because the way this all transforms and stuff, but it's ugly, ugly, ugly. That's my cousin, dude. Ugly. Um, agree? No. 
but um, it's it, it's just not great. It's not great. So they say start by like pulling this back and typical to new age stuff. Yo, the paint, the plastic, the finish, QC, everything is immaculate. It's immaculate. It's wonderful. But man, this engineering really, really is subpar. And um, well, it's not even subpar. It's just it's just not to my liking. And I feel like the end product does not embody what I expect out of Grimlock. OK, and also this tail bit, the way it transforms, when you see what it looks like in robot mode, I don't know. It just looks like an eyesore to me. It just looks like an eyesore to me. But yeah, and so now we're going to kind of like split this open and we're going to get the legs to split all in half. That's all good. And see, unlike the magic square stuff, which is just like flap it, flip it, flap it, just falling all over the place. The tolerances on the joints, these hold their own. Nothing's going to slip out of place and stuff. And that is one of the things that I do dislike about the magic square stuff. And uh, oh, you know what? I realize what it is about the magic square stuff that makes me feel like it's cheap. That same plastic is like the stuff that you get out of Cracker Jacks or those um, Kinder Kinder toys, the Kinder eggs. It's that plastic. It's that type of vinyl plastic. And that's why in my mind, I'm like, this is cheap. But um, it's not. It's very sturdy and uh, it, it withstands duress and stress, but it just looks mad cheap. OK, back to this. So we're going to bend the tail in over here and uh, the tail will then bend down and we have to do all of that um, in order to release. I don't think this bends in. Does it? No, I don't think it does. Um, and if it does, I'll, I'll figure it out later. But this has to bend all in. And then you see that joint, that hinge over there. You're going to hinge that. And then you're going to turn this all the way around. And it's a pretty tight joint. And you're going to turn it all the way around. And I do think it only spins on one way. And perhaps I've done it wrong. Okay, no, 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 I got it, I got it. And then we're going to bring all of that in here. And so that's cool. This engineering is very cool. And then this will close up. And yeah, wonderful. But dude, just looking at this, so Uggery, you know what I'm saying? I, I wish they had like a flap similar to the Magic Square stuff. It just doesn't look great. Just doesn't look great. And that's why I was just like, hubris, hubris. They're like, we're new age. We can do whatever we want and people will buy it. I'm like, I don't know, man. You got competition in Magic Square. And so I'd be careful. Um, and if the, what is it? I know the camps are kind of split because the gloss versus this gloss paint versus that matte, it's not necessarily hard to have them in the same collection, but they do look like they'll stand out, you know, they won't be that cohesive. And, um, yeah. And again, the engineering doesn't take away once again from the finish, the paint, the everything, but the design choices that they have made. Um, and when I say engineering, I should take that back. It's like, Whatever they've engineered is smooth like butter. It works great. But just the design choice in making it like this is just weird. For lack of a better word, just weird, dude. And so here we open this up. Uh, and this is the first time I've ever seen a Grimlock do something like this. And then we're going to flip the fist up and see how it had this weird like triangle over here, this little bit. When you flip the arm over, it will close up. And that I think is very cool. And then now you'll see that it's relatively not seamless, but um, it's flush. And that is like, wow, neat, very nice. But was it necessary? Was it really necessary? Because I know they're trying to capture kind of like the slimmer arm over here. And this is kind of like wider. But was it was it really necessary to do all of that to get what they wanted? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, so that, that's cool. That piece of engineering, like I said, they're, they're, the engineering is cool. I'm not sure what the word that I'm looking for. I think it's the design choices that they made on what this is ultimately going to look like, but the engineering, the quality of it, the craftsmanship, the accurateness of the, uh, of, of the machine printing and um, the molds and all like that, that is undeniable, undeniable. Uh, so here you got to open up the chest, but it's a little difficult to do so. Like there's nothing that you can like really grab onto to kind of get that chest open. And so I have a spudger somewhere, but I'm wondering if I can do something with the head too. There we go. So I just pulled, a, pulled on the head a little bit to give it a little bit of a, um, 
whatever, dude. <laughs> so you get this pulled out and then just kind of press up and then press down over here. And then it'll 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 tab into place. And then this waist bit you can bring forward like that. So it's um, flush and proportionate. And so, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then we'll bring these up and then they will tab in securely. And then this will come down. That yellow bit will fill out that cavity. And then that peg to post or post to port will close up there. And um, I don't know, you can't do anything with the arms. Let's just put them there for now. And this is him. This is him. He looks weird, man. He, he, he looks weird. What I mean by that is, one, I think he's too lanky. I think the head is too big. If the head was a tad smaller, perhaps it would help out with the proportions. I think that might be it. If the chest was a little bit wider and maybe the thigh somewhat thick, like he's just way too thin for me. And when I look at this, he doesn't strike me as this powerful, massive leader of the Dinobots. Also, I feel like the wings are way too small, dude. Or it's that the head is too big or something. If the head was shrunk down maybe by like 20%, 15%, I feel like it would be better. But then perhaps it wouldn't be um, in scale with the other Dinobots that they've released. And yeah, you can like arc the wings up and stuff, but dude, it doesn't really do much, dude. You, you know what I'm talking about? It's So it's, it's, it's a pretty big disappointment to me considering Grimlock is my favorite and perhaps he's, he's a favorite for many of other, many of y'all out there too. And um, the, the Dino to Robot mode is, is fine. It's fun actually. And I enjoy the transformation, but the end result of the proportions that it produces is not very pleasing. And so perhaps I misarticulated myself about the engineering. The engineering is good. It accomplishes everything that it wants to accomplish. The proportions, that's probably what I should have talked about. Wings are way too small. Dino head, uh, whatever, forgivable. Legs, way too thin. Head, way too big, dude. And so when I look at this, I'm not, it, it doesn't strike me with a good feeling, dude. It ah, just, yeah, it's, it's just very strange to me. And And I'm like, particularly disappointed in that new age is typically pretty good about this stuff you know no one was like and and also i think this is kind of weird the um, the head is a little too high for me i mean i understand they do it so that you can get like a look down as well but i just feel like in its native state it's just raised way too high above the body you feel me and um, there's too many aesthetic things that I dislike about this figure. And now, in hindsight, looking back at the Magic Square figure, yo, that one was properly done. Even though I did feel that the engineering on that one suffered a little bit, the engineering overall, like these people are, are not more intelligent, but I would say they're more experienced in terms of engineering. Um, but the end result that you're able to achieve with the magic square one tops this any day of the week dino mode you can argue the merits of both that's fine but magic square the, or but in uh, robot mode this one flat out loses this one flat out loses i don't know do you share the same opinion with me or does he look fine to you is this supposed to be homaging like a grimlock from the comics or some other guy where he's like like he looks like an action master to me you know what i mean you, you feel what i'm saying dude he looks like an action master to me so the proportions are weird, the aesthetics are weird, and, and this gobbledygook thing over here is weird, dude, and um, yeah, so the things that it has going for it, the transformation sequence is fun, it's intuitive once you get it, um, the accessories are okay, I wish this was a standard sword, um, yeah, of course, all the great things, like I said, the, 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 the paint, the plastic, the, the, the polished plastic, the quality on this stuff, the quality of parts, everything feels very, very um, high scale or like, what's it, like high quality, you know. But the proportions, that thing just ruins it for me, ruins it for me. So I think this one, hands down, clearly Magic Square is the victor. But tell me what y'all feel. Tell me what you think, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. It's not your fault, man. It's not your fault. Um, I have also ordered a oversized KO version of this. 
And I hope they've made some adjustments to the head or some of the proportions. Probably not. Probably not. But nonetheless, I am keen to check it out. But um, yeah, I'll share it with you all when I get that one. But um, it's nice. This one's nice. It has nice bits of metal and everything. Everything that's great about New Age is present here. Except for their weird proportion details. It's, it's, it's just quite strange to me. Anyway, not for me. But I'm sure this is for uh, many of y'all out there. But for me, this this doesn't do it. This doesn't do it.